ProBodybuilding.com 2009 North American. I'm here with Hans van der Granden. <laughs> you, you threw me off with that one. Where, where are you from? Kalamazoo, Michigan. Michigan. Okay, cool. How long have you been competing? Uh, 22 years. You just won your um, class. What weight class did you win? I won the uh, middleweights, masters, and open. Whoa, you won both classes? Yeah. How old are you? 44. Oh, dude, you rocking. Go ahead, boy. <laughs> I like to hear that. What, um, what are your plans for the future, and what do you plan on doing the next thing? Since you, did you, get, you didn't get your pro card at this one, did you? No. But you, you plan on doing something else. Oh, yeah. Well, not this year. This year I did the Masters Nationals, and this one I'm done for the year. So uh, next year I'll come back, probably here, Nationals, Masters Nationals. I don't know which one yet, but I'll be back. What, um, what can you tell some of the people out there that, that they, about how you got to where you're at, that they should get off their butts and maybe get into the gym and find <laughs> some way to train? I tell you what, a long time ago, I, uh, <clears throat> this is something I decided I wanted to do. I stuck with it. It's been 22 years, so uh, still still trying to get that pro card, man. Still working at it, like still following you. <laughs> We've been doing about the same amount of time, <laughs> about 20 some years. It's what? still fun, though. I, I enjoy it. It's a, it's a healthy lifestyle. It keeps me young. It keeps me, you know, it keeps me in shape, and I love it. Yeah, I, I totally understand. I'm on the same page with you. And I'm here with Jonathan Johnson. He got uh, fifth in his class today. He should have placed a little bit higher. What do you think um, you could do to make sure that they give you a better place on the next time around? Um, I think what I need to do is work on uh, the backside, bring it in a little bit more tight, a little bit harder. I still think I could probably come in a little bit lot more drier in the back area and more or less just work on developing the glutes. And bring what, them in a lot more. Where are you from? Actually from here, from Cleveland, Ohio. Oh, of course. Yeah. What, um, what are your plans for the future? Well, my plans for the future is uh, I want to do nationals, but I know I'm going to back out and wait till next year, come back, do this show again. and. My plans are to go pro. I what, want a pro card. <laughs> what made you get into this whole bodybuilding thing? Um, well, I, you know, always been an athlete, played football, got some injuries, uh, couldn't play the sports no more. So I always had the muscle size, the muscle symmetry, and I decided, well, let me just go ahead and pick up and do something I like doing. So I started lifting weights, and bodybuilding was one of the things that came to my mind. A uh, guy came and approached me and said, you ought to do bodybuilding. You got a great physique. Tried it for the first time. Went out to the first show, done this Tricky Jackson show for the first time, and I placed fourth. And when I was done, I said, well, I've done it. I quit. I'm done. I don't want to do it anymore. Then after that, I, I walked out into the stands. About 50 million people came up and said, man, you look great. You look great. You got great symmetry. Stay at it. So then I figured, well, hmm, there's my cue. Maybe I'll go back and do it again. <laughs> well, I wish you luck, and I hope that you can um, make your dreams come true. It takes a little bit of time. Trust me, it took me 10 years to get my pro card. Oh, yeah. Blow it out. Blow it out. Give me the last spread. Turn around the back, let me see that thickness. Oh. Give me a last spread. Beautiful. Thank you very much. Yeah, you should have placed a little higher than that. <laughs> well, that's kind of creepy. I'm here with the overall Masters winner. What's your name and where you from? Uh, Mark Antonek from Tampa, Florida. You won the Masters. I know that ain't something that came to really easy to you because you've probably been competing for a long time. How long have you been competing? Uh, actually, uh, I'm a late bloomer. I'm 44 now, but I started competing in uh, 2005, 2005. Took a couple years off. Uh, just got back on the uh, on track. I saw you about four weeks ago at the Tampa show, mm -hmm. uh, and I won that Tampa show. And then last Saturday, I won the Florida State. And then uh, today I'm uh, victorious in the uh, over 40 mats. So we got a trifecta three for three. I'm really excited. Yeah, yeah, you messed around, got your pro card now. That's a good thing. That's yeah. a good thing. That's, that's what you wanted, man. You, 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 how long did it take you? How long do you feel right now? Because it took you so long to reach that goal. You grabbing for it and grabbing for it. And you wind up grabbing it and wind up winning. Now, how do, how do you actually feel? Because it's kind of euphoric in a way. Yeah, well, I, actually, I'm on a sensory overload right now. <laughs> so it's hard to evaluate how I feel. I got all kinds of plethora of emotions going on right now. I think tomorrow morning I have to wake up and just pinch myself and go, Mark Antonek won the show. Are you kidding? Wait, that's me. I got my pro card. It, it's, it, it's a script that you couldn't write. I mean, if we went into details, you'd be amazed. And just the, 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 the stuff I had to deal with back home and, and the workload and everything else encom uh, encompassed with it. And to come up here and, and, and the, the class was insane, insane. A lot of good quality competitors up here. So I am, uh, I'm very proud of myself and I'm humbled at the same time. What's your plans for the future? I'm going to check with my coach, Tim Gardner. Uh, I'm going to let him guide me because uh, my
my decision making is probably not the best. It's best to have a, uh, a qualified uh, third eye out there to say, listen, bud, this is where we're going to direct you. This is what we're going to do. Uh, since I've been under his guidance, he's he's three and zero. Oh, so, whatever. He, if he wants me to go to Mars and compete for the uh, Greater Mars competition, we're going to do it. We're going to do whatever he tells me to do. At this point, he's God to me. So he's three and zero. Oh. What, what am I going to say? You know. I'm here with Adam and Tommy, one of my friends I've known for probably what damn near ten years. Yeah. He's been competing, and so have I. He's been a long trek of doing this bodybuilding. Today, he won his class here at the um, heavyweights, at the the super heavyweights. <laughs> oh, duh, the super heavyweights at the North American, and he, he, he fell short a little bit. Um, heavyweight won the whole thing, and it really kind of made me fucking a little bit angry. So I, but hey, that's bodybuilding. You don't like it, you got to swallow it up and take, go move on with the next step. Um, how do you feel right now? And I, and I don't want to bring out anything bad out of you. I just want to, you know, talk to you right now so you can tell people, because it's not just something that you do as a hobby. <laughs> no, no. Uh, Quincy, I've been on you for... Shoot, we've been on stage guest posing when you won the Cal, and I was a fat, out of shape 270, man. And I was standing <laughs> next to you. That was back in 98. But uh, yeah. I, today, man, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of like, <sighs> many emotions going through me right now, brother. I don't know. I, I'm in shock because I came here just with one determination to win this damn thing and get it over with and go to the next level because I know I got the structure and the package to be able to do good in the pros. But whatever the case was today, I don't know, man. You know, I, I'm still trying to bring up my upper body. I got wide clavicles, so it takes a little bit longer to bring up my upper chest and, and fill out both. the upper body. So, you know, just like Jay, Jay had the same problem. I'm friends with Jay, and it took him many years to bring his upper body up, you know. But once it does, man, it's over, bro. You know, I mean, uh, nobody's going to be able to stand next to me. I know that. You know, once uh, this part fills out, it's done. So, and I've actually finally mastered how to bring my upper body up. I just finally started to bring it up. So, I don't know, man. I think, you know, I'll, I'll probably just hit, I'll be hitting nationals. A heartfelt yeah. uh, feeling of you should have placed a little better, dude. But I, and, I, and I'm, and I'm, on, I'm on that track. I'm on the same page with you, dog. I think you deserved it. I think in this sport you have to pay your dues sometimes, and you pay plenty of dues. And I think, yeah. you, you, I think you're, you're due your win. But yeah. it's bodybuilding. And just because you're the best one there don't mean you're going to win. Honestly, man, I don't care about paying dues, dude. I mean, I, I would, would not want to win just because I paid my dues. I want to win because I am the best one up on stage. And if that's the case, if I wasn't the best one, then hell with it. I'll come back to nationals, and I'll be the best one up there and just crush it, man. You know, Because if I paid my dues and win and go pro, I'm getting a, a sympathy card, you know, and then I'm not going to do anything in the pros. There's a whole lot of kids you know? that have that. Honestly. So I'd rather uh, you know, earn that thing and go to the pros and do well. Beautiful champion, beautiful Thank warrior. You, keep, keep that warrior spirit alive. You know I'm always going to root for you no matter Thank what time you. it is. Thank you. ProBodyBin.com Pro is a state of mind. Signing out.